The endless broke us when they broke themselves. Now we are few, and many that remain are of little use. Yet our purpose still drives us. Even death cannot be allowed to stop us. We must find new converts, new servants, who will help us fulfill the great oaths we took so long ago. They will not only be our hands and our eyes, they will be the sword and the shield of our armies that will bring the eternal end. First upon Oraga, and then across the universe. Hello Reformers and welcome to Endless Legend. This is a game that came out a long, long time ago and it's never appeared on my channel mainly because I didn't have the recording software at the time to actually capture it. I planned to do it way back in uh, 2015 actually, which is what you can see here. My last saved game was actually in 2015 and uh, unfortunately I just didn't play it anymore after that, which is a real shame. However, I've just been reminded of it because it is a gem of a game and there is a weekend currently going on. I think it's a free weekend actually, so you can actually install this game right off, play it and uh, you know, you can even get the DLC and the game for I think 75% off. I'm not being paid by the way to actually make this video. It's not sponsored in any way. It's just a game that I very much enjoy and I like it a lot and uh, it's by one of my favorite developers. It's by Amplitude Studios and they were the people behind Endless Space. I absolutely loved Endless Space and uh, yeah they've, they've come up with a whole bunch of Endless series of games as well like Dungeon of the Endless and so on and so forth and Endless Legend is their sort of 4x civilization take on uh, on uh, you know on their universe and uh, I think it's actually really really good. It is really good. I like it a lot. Anyway I, uh, I actually don't have any of the other expansions, so if you are actually enjoying this particular series and you want to see more of this, then let me know in the comments, let me know, you know, should I go out to this, to this sale and be like, yes, give me all your DLC, and I'm going to buy it on the Steam sale myself, and uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty fun. And uh, you just let me know. Let me know if you want to see that. Now, here's a bunch of the factions here. You can select any you want. They're all very, very different in how they play. And you can even edit them if you want. As far as I'm aware, you can edit them. Or you can create your own custom faction, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, you can create a custom faction. I never actually did that when I played before. I just played with the sort of standard factions that they have available here. And they all have different ways of playing. The Broken Lords are very good at expanding and they do not use food. They cannot see, gather, or use food. They instead use dust, which is the endless universe's equivalent to gold, basically. So these guys only use gold. Even to heal themselves, you need to pay them gold or you need to use dust, so to speak, because that is a very, very worthwhile resource. The roving clans are all about economy. The draken are all about diplomatic and doing their their faction quest and everything and then you have these other four factions up here that are all to do with the DLC I don't exactly know what they're all about I know that the Forgotten are a espionage faction so if you're all about you know sneaking around doing all, all kinds of spying and, and, and you know uh, backstabbing and all kinds of things like that then obviously that DLC is, is definitely going to be for you and I believe this is the one that has just come out the uh, the new DLC that's just come out is is the Kapaku I guess and uh, yeah, I guess for this, I'm actually going to be playing with the cultists. I absolutely love the way the cultists play. They're one of my favorite factions. I think the only ones that I very much enjoy are the Mazari. I think I remember actually buying the, the Founder Edition to this game way back. And uh, it was it's just really fantastic. I think I bought it on sale, actually. Uh, like most of my games, I, believe it or not, I actually buy most games on sale unless it's like a really, really awesome game that I have been looking forward to for a long time. And this was a sleeper hit for me. I had no idea that this game was as good as it was when it first came out and I, I regret not purchasing it and supporting the developers at release. But anyway, we have six enemies here, well five enemies technically, and we're going to start and see if we can win. 
Alright, so welcome to Endless Legend, one of my favorite games, and uh, we are going to, of course, be experiencing absolutely everything together, and uh, I'm going to try and not edit out too much. It really depends on if I have something that I'm waiting for, and there's a whole bunch of turns that, you know, I'm, I'm going to need to get past relatively quickly. So anyway, we are going to try and get ourselves to a decent location here. I'm uh, obviously a little bit rusty at the game, so do forgive me for that. There is, ah, there are some temple ruins over there, and if we have some escaped specimens. That's going to give us a whole bunch of dust. Okay, I think we're actually going to spawn ourselves probably here. This seems like a good place to be. Okay, we have a new minor faction right next to us. That's actually pretty good because we have conversion units. Yeah, we're very good at doing that. Okay, so it's found a new city right here. This seems like a good good place to be. 16 industry, 13 food, 4 dust. The dust is not that great. Maybe I could do something a little better. Maybe something like that. No, it's a bit more science. Uh, that would be pretty good, actually. I think we're going to go there. Let's hope that they can actually get over there. Ah, oh, they didn't. Oh, they weren't able to get there. Oh, that's terrible. Okay. So, yeah, obviously it does this whole army thing in the endless space fashion where you have, you know, all kinds of units in the same army and they have a certain amount of health and a certain amount of fortification damage and movement points and so on. Okay. So, these are the minor faction. This is a minor faction we're going to attempt to do what we can to convert them to our side. As you can see, I'm actually losing a huge amount of dust at the moment, so I'm going to need to quite quickly get that done. So let me see if I can do... Yeah, do that. There we go. Nice. We've got our city up and running, our first city. We're going to call this... We're going to call this uh, Reformia. That is going to be our first, our first city. And uh, you can actually leave in the comments if you want to call something a certain name or if you have a suggestion about what uh, what kind of cool city names we can give ourselves. Okay, so we have a preacher right here. This is a support unit. We're going to be using those for quite a bit of time. Otherwise, I'm just going to get a Founders memori Memorial to begin with. And these preachers, they have a little bit of attack. But for the most part, they're not amazing. So, yeah. Anyway, let's search for some clues at this location. Your search at the location was worth the effort. 30 dust. Very nice. And we're also going to go over here as well. Do bear in mind that every faction has a quest. I don't exactly know whether we have ours just yet. Ah, oh, we should probably get our research, shouldn't we? Let's get some research. Okay, so research is obviously split into different uh, different acts or different uh, eras, I guess you could say. And once you get to the sixth one, you can see right here, you will gain insane amounts of stuff. And this is obviously required for scientific victory. I think I've only gotten scientific victory twice in the past, so it's kind of difficult to get. It just depends on how lucky you are with your scientific hexes and stuff like that. Obviously, it does matter quite a bit whether, you know, you get these unlocked as well because it can be extremely powerful. Like getting plus 100% life and damage on your units, that's crazy. It's really good. Okay, so... To begin with, what do we want to do? Well, we probably want to start getting some additional resources, but I just want to make sure that I know exactly what I'm doing here. I need to make sure that we are getting exactly the right unit for the job. And I think, personally, getting some fanatics would probably be a really, really good start. Is there anything else that we... Ah, yes, we need approval, don't we? Let's get some approval as well, some, some happiness. Uh, search party is actually pretty good as well, but maybe we don't really need that right now. Let's get the Empire Mint, and I think that is a good enough start for now. And uh, I think we can, uh, I think we can head onward. Now, also, bear in mind that you do have heroes, and uh, this is our quest, as you can see right here. So. Ah, yes, the conversion begins, but the task is formidable. Few of those we attract are worthy, and even those must be trained. It would be convenient if more survived the training, but the unspoken insists on rigor. We will follow one of these. Perhaps we can learn from it. And so what we have to do is we have to bring these savages into the purpose of the cult, and we have to convert two minor faction villages into the cult. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, we need to... 
There is... I, I can't actually remember how to do that. I think we need influence. So we need to build as many influence generating improvements as we can. And we'll see what we can do with that. Ah, we have another quest here. So obviously you do have your main faction quest and then you do have these other side quests, I guess you could call them. And what we need to do here is within five turns, search for a relic at the temple ruins illuminated by the rays of dust. So let's show the location. Oh, it's very close by to us. That's going to be easy enough to get over there. And as I said, there are heroes available here as well. This, this guy is obviously very good at giving our people a little bit of an army health boost. And these guys level up as well, and they all have their own trees, you know, their own uh, talent trees and stuff like that. So it's pretty good. Anyway, let's continue onward. Once I have all of this explaining out of the way, by the way, if you're not familiar with Endless Legend, then everything's going to go a lot smoother and we'll be able to get to the next turn even faster and faster and faster and so on and so forth. Anyway, ah, very nice. Look at that. Okay, the place matched the descriptions right down to the eerie feelings. It is good that you brought shovels, and our reward is this wonderful shield. Now, this shield's going to be very, very good for us to use. Unfortunately, it appears to cost six of those blue resources. Now, I'm not entirely sure what those resources are at the moment, but we are going to find out shortly, I would assume. Okay, so let's move down here now. We're just going to continue moving around. Ah, our hero has leveled up. So let's see exactly what we want to go with Andom the Seer. I don't exactly know whether we can rename them. It doesn't seem like we can rename the heroes, which is a bit unfortunate, but maybe that has been added in a, a later DLC or something. I'm not entirely sure about that. Anyway, this guy is probably going to stay as a... Uh, stay as an army unit so we're probably gonna try and just give him a whole bunch of hmm that's actually pretty good yeah a whole bunch of improvements regarding the army so I guess we'll just give him Indiana bones Indiana bones reduces the chance that you will not find anything in in, in regions and, and uh, in ruins and things like that so that's obviously pretty good to go for and uh, hopefully we're going to be getting our fanatic researched relatively soon as well. We've got another population growth right there. That's nice. And, uh, oh yeah, just bear in mind that the Draken, there is actually, actually a Draken faction in the game. They are very much to do with diplomacy, so they're obviously going to be at peace with us almost immediately in comparison to what you would expect. Okay, so as you can see, this is the army interaction with the minor faction. So what we need to convert this pacified village, or shall we say convert this village, is 21 influence points. So that is certainly not going to happen. Ah, initiate negotiations. If you fulfill their demands, all of their villages in the region will be pacified peacefully. So we could do that. Should we do that? Let's go and do that. Let's see what they want. Gift eight gold to the new public market of the Seratan. And pacification is going to be our reward. So eight gold? Huh. Is it, do we not have eight gold? I would think that we already have eight gold, do we not? Please come back once you do this. Okay, so we... These can be purchased, extracted, or gained through quests. Ah, right. Okay, so we need to go to the marketplace. So there is actually a marketplace, as you can see right here. We don't have that available at the moment, the mercenary market. Uh, as far as I'm aware, at least. It doesn't seem like that. I mean, you can see all these other wonderful things here. And there are luxury resources as well, like, for example, this wine deposit over here. And that is in our region. So, as you can see, each region, or shall we say each town or city encompasses its own region and all of the resources within that region are yours to exploit I guess you could say anyway construction has now been completed and we can now well I need to wait one turn for the fanatic unfortunately so I guess we are probably just gonna get borough streets I think that's pretty good and uh, what do we want to go for here probably Probably over here. Doesn't really matter either way. It's going to take 11 turns, which is pretty harsh, but I think it's going to be worth it. Okay, so do we need to move anywhere? I guess we'll just move down here. 
We have a titanium deposit as well. Bear in mind that we do need to get a founder unit or something along those lines to be able to, you know, make another town, make another city. Let's just continue to, uh, ah, there we go. There's another Seratan expansion here. And I guess we could parlay with them. Make sure there is no enemy army in the region called Edina in five turns. Ah, we might actually be able to do that. Okay, so Edina is right next to us, I assume. Yep, that's that's Edina right there. So I am going to be moving in there. And we'll see whether we can eliminate the enemy army to pacify the, the little village here. And uh, hopefully that's going to make it a little bit easier to convert them. Ah, we have another minor faction right here as well. But I'm going to hopefully try and find the army first. I don't exactly know whether we'll be able to even defeat that army. Because obviously we don't have extremely good unit at the moment. Oh, we got 10 gold. Fantastic. Look at that. We gained 10 gold. That's exactly what the other faction, or shall we say the other village needs. So that's pretty awesome. Right. So, ah, the region is actually much larger than I anticipated. Yeah, it's up there as well. Right. Okay. Well, it shouldn't be too bad. I think we should be able to win with our preachers. So it shouldn't be too bad, I hope. But it's kind of nice. We are actually getting our influence up as well. Where's that army? Seems like there's there's no army, but I would assume that they're probably going to be appearing at some point. They're going to make it kind of difficult for us. So let's let's not open the chat chat window. I was actually thinking, how do I how do I end the turn with you know with my keyboard? I'm going to have to find that. Out. Oh, okay, we did it. There you go. The villagers of the region called Edina trust your protection. They are pacified and willing to serve you. Right. So that's pretty cool. So that means that we should be able to go over there now and maybe convert them for free. I'm actually unsure about that. I do know that that is a major mechanic with the cultists, being able to convert these minor factions to your side and just overwhelming the opponent as much as you can. So there is also an, an imminent empire plan, as you can see here. We can save some influ influence points if you want to. This is basically uh, the social system, I guess, from like civilization, but it's a little different, I guess. Anyway, yeah, conversion is exactly the same. Yeah, okay. So we're just going to have to wait, which is fine. I guess we could do another parlay here, or we could bribe these guys. Yeah, I, I guess we'll just parlay and we'll see exactly what they need. Return to this village with an army that contains a minimum of three minor faction units. Huh, okay. I think we'll actually be able to do that pretty easily. So let's go back to the other minor village. And our research is now complete. So we have some more things there and as you can see our borough streets are almost done because our production has increased so significantly so that's pretty good anyway let's go over here and hand in our little quest there we are nice so foods materials and crafts are suddenly appearing out of nowhere as the market gains respect and shows its worth all the seratan villages have now been pacified in angrin there we go so that is that is pretty cool in itself because Gaining, gaining these gaining these things is, is pretty nice because they're obviously then not going to attack you. So that's pretty good. And I think I now have enough to convert them. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. There you go. So now we can assimilate these fellows and we need a whole bunch of influence points. So the Seratan are basically like spiders kind of thing. Yeah, they're arachnoid centaurs. They are subterranean people tending to white hair and pale skin. They prefer to feed on warm-blooded prey that can survive on cold-blooded beasts or insectoids. Yeah, now the cool thing, at, at least in my opinion, the, one of the coolest things about Endless Legend in my opinion is the ability to change your units. So you can actually customize them however you so desire. Now I'm actually just going to wait until the Seratan village spawns a whole bunch of these things and uh, actually you know what let's make this army and actually have them go over here and merge them. There we go. Oh yeah we're going to merge them into one army so that they're even more powerful right now. So that's pretty awesome. Now yeah as I was saying the coolest thing you can do or one of the coolest things is you can customize your units however you so desire. So you can have them equip 
awesome gear. You can change, you know, how how they how their setup is working. You know, what kind of weapons they're using and and armor and all that sort of thing. And uh, I personally feel like that's just really cool. Otherwise, Sisters of Mercy. Oh, that's that's a very nice minor faction as far as I'm aware. Those Sisters of Mercy can be extremely good because I think they have some kind of healing ability. At least I remember that. Anyway. We're going to get no idle hands because getting experience for our units is really important. I want to make sure that our units level up extremely fast. That's what I'm going to try and do at the very least. And uh, we're just going to continue like just moving around. That's that's basically what I want to do. I just want to move around. I want to try and scout out the regions as much as I can and just make it as easy as possible for us. To know exactly what's going on in our territory, I guess you could say. So let's go and search this. You found nothing interesting at this location. Okay, there's actually another village over here, a Guran village. Technically, I could fight them. I don't have to parlay with them. But I think for the moment, I think we should be fine with what we've done. As you can see, we just need one more conversion. Construction is now complete. Nice. So our borough streets have been done. That's great. All right, so we probably want to get the sewer system. Personally, I think that's just a given. It's only going to take three turns after all. And I think we're probably going to be getting a Fnatic after that, which will take four turns. So nothing really to worry about there. I, I think we were just kind of lucky in the way that we were able to get a high industry start. Let's go and search over here as well. Ooh, we got another 10 gold. Fantastic. Nice. That could be very useful. Okay, let's continue to head down here then. I don't think I can go any further, actually. There is actually... Is that another minor village? It doesn't seem like we were able to uncover that just yet. Right. Oh, well. Never mind. But, yeah, you can see here that we'll get our happiness up, and that's going to make a huge difference. There we go. The Dorgeshi. Oh, the Dorgeshi. I don't think I've heard that name in a long time, and I don't exactly know what they do. But I guess we can take a look at them. Ah, banished after a series of feuds, these roving clan families left the life of their caravans and cities, exchanging the luxuries of merchants for the hardship of warriors. The clan's secrets of beast control were used to master the great Burdamek lizards, turning the Dorgeshi into a fearsome heavy cavalry. So if you want some heavy cavalry, those are the guys for you if you're playing as the cultist faction, of course. And you can also see all of the scores of the various AI as well. So you can exactly see what's going on right there. Ah, the Empire plan is now available. Unfortunately, this is not something that I am able to do at the moment, I don't think. As you can see, you need 28 influence. I only have 12. Am I not able to just... I, I can't do any of this. Can I? No. No, I'm not able to do any of that, so... That's unfortunate, but that's just how it goes. And, uh, yeah. Oh, yes, I should also mention that there are seasons in the game. So when seasons, you know, start to turn to winter and, you know, the more harsher months, then you are going to have some issues with uh, military production. You're going to lose food and all kinds of things. So obviously that's another thing that you have to be a little bit aware of. Okay, so there you go. We've actually researched everything that we wanted to right there. And ah, we probably want to get some more food. Ah, this is this is very important. Open pit mine. Very, very good. And I think I probably also want to be able to detect the other the other uh, resources as well. We need titanium extractors and glass steel extractors especially because we want to be able to use advanced alloys and advanced armor. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And I think... Yep, there we go. Our streets were now done or whatever it was called. This, the sewers, I think, it's, I think it was. I think they're now done, so that's good. I seem to recall, actually, that the cultists, I think, can play with only one city. They don't necessarily have to play with multiple cities, because when you have all of these 
minor factions to draw upon, you really don't need to worry about much, do you? So, yeah, I think that's actually pretty cool. Okay, so I think what we need to do now is, personally, I think we should go over to the Guran here. Which which quest did we actually have with them? Oh, the Idol City. Great. Okay, so we now have a Fnatic right here. I think I'm actually going to get a whole bunch more Fnatics after the Empire Mint, because we want to get some more dust. We are losing dust at the moment. And we probably want to get some more... Borough Streets, so let's do that. Let's see if I can get some good outputs here. Oh, that's nice. Oh, wow, that's even better. Okay, let's go for that. And uh, we should probably go for another Fnatic as well, because we want to create a pretty strong army there. Ah, hello. There is a roaming army. Okay, so that roaming army is obviously going to be a bit difficult for us to deal with, but it only has 200 HP. We should be able to deal with them no problem at all. But for now, that will be it for this episode. If you'd like to see more of Endless Legend, then by all means let me know. I absolutely have a blast playing this, and if you have a blast watching, then that is obviously a great bonus. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.